today, I'm Matt from Solarbike. I'm just giving you an instructional video on how to put a torque bar that comes with the kit onto the bicycle. Uh, the torque bar is this little piece of metal. It's based, its idea is it fits around the axle and it holds the axle because the axle wants to turn in the fork so you risk damage here. But with the torque bar put on, it makes it a lot safer way to put on a bicycle. As you can see, it doesn't sit straight. So you have to put some bending in the bar to get it on. The first part is to align it up quite well. The torque bar comes with a hose clamp and a couple of spare washers. The washers are quite handy to space it out so that there's a little bit more room and the bend doesn't have to be as vicious to get it to fit nicely. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll put a torque bar, the bar on. So if you put it there, you can see there needs to be a bend around here because it's touching on the fork. Uh, getting the bend is quite precise. You need to get it right where the axle nut goes in. You don't want to put the bend too close to the axle nut because then you risk stripping the nut when you tighten it if it's the axle. But you can see you need the bend to be right at that point. No closer and no further away. Typically I'll put it in a vise, probably about 3-4 mils away from where I want the bend, clamp it there, because the bend always comes a little closer to the bar. If you mess it up, you can straighten it and start again. And I also have adjustable ones. This is a very generic shape of the fork, but it doesn't fit all bikes, and I can provide you with adjustable ones. So first we'll take this to the vise, and we'll aim to get a bend. Make sure you get the orientation right, probably put your fingernail about where you need it, and then put it in the vise and then bang it with the hammer. Okay, so I'll put it in the vise just down, you can see around there, make sure it needs to bend that way, not the other way. Around there. And I'll give it a good hit with the hammer. I usually put quite a nice savage bend because the later will bend it back against the fork and it just makes it easier, saves you doing it twice. You can see here the kit comes with one axle. When you put the wheel in, you use the axle has a washer with a lug. That one sits on the inside of the fork. And then you have these other ones to space it out. That one sits in the recess. And with this, the, bit, the fork is quite close. So I use a, the second washer just to space it out. It makes it fit better. It doesn't need to. It depends on the bicycle you put it on. Sometimes you don't have to bend it at all. You can just put one washer and it works well. But this one, because it is recessed, I do need to put the bend on. Next, I put that. And then you have a look from this side. You can see there's a gap. So it's not touching on the fork bends in just about the right spot and you can see also the axle nut will go on and it will tighten up flat against that uh, torque bar there okay you see I can tighten up the next thing is to give it a reasonably good tighten with the spanners I like to tighten it with two on both sides so I can put equal pressure so I don't start spinning the wheel in the fork itself I tighten it up reasonably tightly. And then the next part is to bend the torque bar to the shape of the fork. I'll just put that there to sort of protect the bicycle a little bit. And then just with the hammer, with some subtle little touches. And then you can see the torque bar has now taken the shape of the fork. It doesn't matter exactly, it doesn't fit right on. It just needs to stop the motion in that direction. As the wheel puts torque that way, it's an equal opposite force there, and it does create some stress on that part of the bar. And finally, just to seal it up, use a hose clamp around this point, and I'll just tighten that up nice and securely. This creates a much safer way to install a conversion kit on a regular bike. You can see that it can't twist here because it's braced against the bicycle.
And then the final thing is just to do the axle nuts up nice and tightly. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.